Hey everyone, EPRC is here and today I thought I would do something for change because yes, today is the release of Phantom Trigger Grisire, basically the sequel to the original Grisire series but uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the story of this vision novel is, has nothing, well it's just loosely based on the Grisire series, in other words uh, you don't have to play the whole Grisaya series to understand this vision novel because I heard that this is a completely uh, different story. It's just that the, it's both of these games share the name Grisaya, but uh, <coughs> under that, the story is completely different. So, that being said, I can I can go ahead and you know play this vision novel. When, well, even though I didn't finish the Grisaya series, I have yet to. As you can see, if you have checked my past Let's Plays, I have played The Fruit of Grisaya for a bit. But the thing is, I have watched the anime, so I well, kind of know what the whole story is about already. Uh, but still, I think, yeah, uh, you don't have to play the original series to play this. Uh, that being said, uh, um, that being said, this vision novel from what I uh, read and heard is a kinetic novel. That means there are no choices in this game, no choices at all. It is just a straightforward uh, vision novel, a straightforward story from start to finish. So, yeah, I can't wait to play this. So, as you can see, the visual, the menu, is is quite. It looks pretty interesting. So there's the I think there's something called extra. Probably will unlock once you finish this. But oh, by the way, this is. Uh, the Grisaya Phantom Trigger so far, Volumes 1 and 2 have been released, so I'm well, of course starting with uh, Volume 1 first, so let me just check a few things here. Hmm. Okay, so Moe Game, official website, uh, okay. Hmm. okay. This one I think is the external links, alright. Alright, set it. Let's just check the settings. Hmm, I think. <coughs> I sound all setting. Okay, so this is how the characters, right? Dialogue. Touch. Ah, okay. Back to the title. Okay. Uh, what I have done, by the way, is that. Okay, another interesting thing about this vision novel is that there are you can display text in both languages. So that means there's both uh, Japanese and English. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to read. The Japanese text instead of the English text, so as to you know maybe make it more lively. And yes, I can speak Japanese, well, to some extent. But yeah, let's just. All right, so you want to hear my Japanese voice? Let's just start the game. Here we go. Yoru. Speaker Kara Nagageru Tokyo Okay, uh Senaka de Kiki Nagara. I don't know how to read this one. Uh Matsuri no Ya Sokoni Atsumaru Hitobito no Kaki Buke Uh Alright <laughs> kind of feel but I I don't understand the sentence. Alright. <laughs> Let me just okay read it in English. Night time. A jaunty Tokyo folk tune rings out from the speakers overhead. Navigating the food stores in the great hustle and bustle of the festival is a young woman. She swims easily through the crowd. Gulping nervously, she covers the mic of her headset to block out any ambient noise and speaks. Oh, this is a nice festival right there. Hey! Hey, why did you cut out the scene? I want to see that beautiful scene. Okay, but anyway, that's a festival, right? <laughs> And we have this girl called Murasaki. Some assassination. Alright, there we go. It's her usual listless tone. Itsumo no Kidaru ke na koi. Hi. Okay, the immediate response is a piercing shriek. Enough to make anyone throw off their headset. Ninja? Uh, so I guess they are on a mission to assassinate someone? 
<laughs> Pawn stock. <laughs> okay, so Toka's the sniper and Murasaki, I don't know, the assassin? <laughs> oh my god, that face kind of reminds me of. Oh my god, what's the yellow hat girl's name? Yeah. <laughs> As the two of them continue shifting the blame back and forth, quite pointlessly, another voice cuts in. A third girl? Chris? Okay, Chris is the name of this girl. Usually Chris is a male name, right? But, okay, I think it can, it can be a female name too. Ah, oh, Chris is this girl. Oh, face Oh, okay. Target spotted. Oh, you can manipulate the traffic lights. Hmm. All right. Oh, just I just want to comment that the graphics so far looks absolutely stunning. It really looks very different. Yeah, that's that's just what I want to say. Alright. Oh, one of them alive. Okay, so that's the one who they can't kill. The rest are killed. <laughs> okay. Oh, this traffic light is so familiar. <laughs> Remember this traffic light? I think this is the same traffic light, you know, that we saw in the beginning of the Fruit of Grisire game? <laughs> and it's bl kind of somehow blue in color. Hmm. Okay, you're about to shoot. Oh, I heard a shot. Okay, the next moment, the sound of a muffled rifle shot burst through everyone's radios. Oh, did she miss? Oh my god, it's a perfect shot! Oh! The hut, I guess. <laughs> well... Well, not good. Surveying the site in front of her, ninja, that's our very sign. Murasaki is the ninja, right? And hmm, I'm just curious, but what is this connecting thing, I wonder? Hmm. The target they had been pursuing now has a tennis ball sized hole in the back of his head, which has splattered like a burst tomato. Oh my god, it's a headshot! Damn it! <laughs> oh well. No, it's just that you're too perfect, Toka. <laughs> she did excuse for a sniper. <laughs> a room in a dimly lit condo. Oh. And we have another girl, um, okay, who looks to have assis assassinated someone. Alright. The glow of festival lights spills through the window, illuminating a girl in a school uniform. She is straddling an older man, bashing his face in with one fist, his collar clutched in the other. Oh, that's a pretty brutal beating. Expressionless, she throws punch after punch. 
her blood splattered face and eerie shade in the partial light. Oh, let's get a good look. It's really, yeah, looks creepy here. Well, she's too busy beating up the older man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, too late. It looks like Reina has killed everybody. Hmm, I see. Rabbit duck. Well, like she said, she killed everybody. <laughs> Rina scans her surroundings. The air thick with gun smoke. There's one on the sofa, one strewn across the table, one lying on the carpet, one draped in neon light beneath the window. Nothing but corpses all around. Playing dead. Hmm. <laughs> Just as she reports in, something makes a sound behind her. Oh, is one of them alive after all? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, the instant she senses the enemy creeping up on her from behind, she automatically draws her gun from the holster at her hip. No, don't shoot! It takes approximately 0.4 seconds. Wow, so accurate. <laughs> she whips out her gun and clicks off the safety faster than she can process her actions. No, stop! The moment she locks on to a target, reflexively placing her hand on the trigger, she remembers her orders. Oh, thank god. Nope. <laughs> but it's already too late. He was dead the moment she laid her finger on her pistol's feather light trigger. Oh well. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> well, sh she's too good. Oh well. <laughs> A deep sigh emanates from the radio. <laughs> why you why you even on about Rina? No, that's that's totally impossible, man. Girl. <laughs> no, they're gonna get mad at everybody. いや。とにかく、あとは本社の人に任せて、私たちは撤収しましょう。車に戻ってください。オッケー、ドヴェン。スナイパー了解。スナイパー了解。ninja <笑> This isn't the sort of job that you get into of your own volition, but once you've taken it on, you can't just quit. It's not the sort of job that you get into because you like it, but really because you want to be use, of use to someone. And you never get to see who your clients are. It's crucial for us to keep our faces hidden from them in this line of work. We toil away in the shadows one day at a time. No one will weep for us if we die. In fact, our comrades are more likely to send us off with a smile. Toiling in the shadows, one day at a time. So like slaves, with no guarantee that tomorrow will ever come. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I wonder if this cast of characters will meet the, the original cast of Grisaya characters. Maybe they will. Maybe the original cast of Grisaya characters will make a cameo appearance. Yeah. Okay, and we got the... Opening. <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, that was a nice opening. But I'm sure you all have already watched that opening. So, okay, yeah, this familiar interface. Oh, oh, someone's cooking. Chris, cooking. Hmm. Let me just adjust. Maybe. Let me just adjust the sound for a while. Uh, voice. Yes. Let me just. Make this louder. Yeah, because I can't quite hear the sound, the, their voices. All right, um, back to Kim. Looks like we have a hearty breakfast over here. Bacon, eggs, and bacon. Ah, uh, the perfect Western breakfast. Oh, I feel hungry just listening to this. <laughs> wow, Rina, you. Rina, you're pretty descriptive right there. Hmm, runny, bacon extra thick, eggs runny. Casio cavallo. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't worry, it's just somebody falling down from her bed. <laughs> Rina, why do I have to describe everything? <laughs> oh, so you go running. It kind of reminds me of Yuji. <laughs> because Yuji also runs like, every morning, right? All very nice scenes. Watering the plants, the tomatoes. And why are you sighing? Wow, it doesn't look like 6 a.m. to me. <laughs> Maybe the sun. Maybe the sun actually rises pretty early at this time of the year. <laughs> Oh, unlike some people, what do you mean by that? <laughs> oh, she Okay, so your master didn't score you for once? Well, it's just her way of letting out stress, I guess. I would love to try one. 
What? No, it doesn't look poisonous to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, tomatoes are meant to be sour, or, me or rather, <laughs> I think they aren't ripe yet. ケロ。次は美味しくなるように育てるのが目標かな。目標。だからこれにどんな意味があるってのよ。Well, <笑> I guess the master is probably the main character, the main hero of this vision novel. If there is a main hero. Hmm. Extra large helping. Okay, I see that Chris is the cook no, for, for this family. じゃあお願い。悪いわね。手間かけさせて。いい。大して決まればありませんから。では、私の代わりに上の部屋に行って紫を起こしてきていただけますか。その間に用意しておきますので。Oh <笑> Oh yeah, I just I just noticed Noftoka is this, you know, this star over here. <laughs> kind of cute, but what's what's with this star anyway? And their uniform looks kind of interesting. It's like, you know, the right half of their uniform has this, I don't know, some cloth hang wrapped over the 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 dark part or something like that. And Chris is wearing a tie. Toka isn't. Dead to the world. So even a alarm clock or trying to beat her up will not wake her up. Oh no, Rina. If you go there, oh, I don't know what you're gonna do to her. Okay. Hammock. Alright, so both of them are going. So, yeah, well, New homeroom teacher. Hmm. あ、あれって今日来るんだっけ。どんな先生が来るんだろう。うん。どんなのでもいいけど、今度は長続きするといいわね。うん。You mean like one homeroom teacher doesn't last for long? Hmm. Yama Academy. Okay, we look at the sky. The economic freedoms afforded us by this country's government allow us to choose our own occupations, as long as we are not in breach of employment law. That doesn't mean you can just go ahead and do whatever job you want though. I'm an aspiring teacher, but even after years of blood, sweat and tears spent attaining my teaching certification, I haven't managed to get a placement. That's why I've come to this academy. It's my last hope. Okay, so there is an MC, there is a main protagonist, and we are now in the perspective of, of the MC, uh, who, is a, who is going to be the new homeroom teacher. And this will be interesting. With four students, I know the previous, in the original Resire series, there are six students, right? Here, there's only four, and four female students. And the main protagonist is a teacher. For someone as desperate as me, this place feels even more foreboding than it must appear to others. Alright, and here we are. Let's see any different... I, I, I think maybe it looks... I think it still looks the same, but maybe it looks more refined. But oh, there's a security camera over there. 
ludicrously vast sweeping grounds. Surveillance cameras mounted on tall fences. A grand three-story building that's totally devoid of warmth. Like a prison. Yeah, I remember Yuji also saying something like that. Mihama Municipal Academy. The school, which was established by the Tohin group, is apparently being managed by a private contractor now. It was supposedly brought, bought up by the government after its corporate owners went bankrupt. All that's left is passing the interview with the school principal, and then I can work here. I take out the card that I had been given beforehand, and tap it against the reader by the school gate, like I'm crossing through a ticket barrier at the station. Oh, now it looks more advanced, because I remember in the original installment, there aren't any ticket barriers, right? Yeah. I think the principal is also different, right? It smells like any other school. The scent of chalk and dust from the school grounds. The milder fragrance of potted plants nurtured by the students and trees swaying in the wind. Old books in a high ceilinged library. Once I step onto the school premises, the misgivings I had looking in, looking in subside a little. Oh, is this the principal, Arisaka? A glance at my watch tells me that much. I suppose I can explore the academy a little in the meantime. Oh, no, wait. Wait, this is the MC? Oh, so Arisaka is the MC, and I thought it was. I thought it's a male that's the MC, okay. So Arisaka is the MC. The main character, I guess. This sound brings back memories. The clash of bamboo swords. Oh, so you have been here before, Arisaka? Kendo club. It's not like I'm particularly interested in the sport or anything, but the apartment I used to live in as a child was to the rear of a kendo dojo, and when it reached evening, I would always hear the cries of the sparring children and the sound of their swords clashing. Oops, um, I had my reasons for not wanting to be around at home back then, and that dojo was a place for me to pass the time with children my own age. Oh yeah, uh, beckoned, by, beckoned on by this sense of nostalgia, I wander absentmindedly in the direction of what I assume to be the chin. The sword strikes are getting louder and louder. When I peer through the open vent window though, the scene I find is a far cry from what I expected. Hmm? Oh, the match is pretty one-sided. Ah, this is the, the male character. <laughs> the one with the blue hair. It's between a tall woman who appears rather experienced and a girl of slight build. Yeah, only if I remember this person here is not a, a woman. The girl maintains a calm composure as she faces herself against the veteran, fending off unrelenting strikes to her torso piece and the rest of her armor, her shoulders heaving with each breath. Perhaps the girl is too exhausted to reply. She just steadies her breathing and readjusts her grip on her sword in response. Hey, that's actually a lot of great CG, so a lot of, I have to choose the Good one for my thumbnail for this first episode of the Let's Play. Okay, Ikuzo! Pushing off the ground with the ball of her right foot, the woman closes the distance between them in one swift motion or movement. She looks like she's swooping down on her prey. The girl flinches but isn't able to do much else. Man! The blade swings down and strikes the girl's men her helmet. Okay. Girl. Um, how come the girl doesn't have a voice? Okay. <laughs> the girl steps forward in a frantic effort to counter the next blow, but the woman easily sidesteps her move. Kote! Kote! Without the slightest hesitation, nor any show of mercy, the older woman lands a heavy blow on the girl's outstretched hand. <laughs> the girl hastily readjusts her grip on her sword, which was almost knocked out of her hands. She waves it at the woman once more, but it's easily brushed aside. 
The woman, after pairing the blow, slices across the girl's uncovered plastron. Pa pa pa! When a girl tries to stop the blow to her torso though, the woman swings the bamboo sword at her helmet instead. Oh. Again, man, the girl dodges as a matter of reflex, but takes a heavy hit to her shoulder. She takes two more blows, first to the torso and then to the, to the arm. It really is a totally one-sided match. The weak are beaten by the strong. That's just how the world works. Uh, still, this match is super unbalanced. It's almost like a form of rough justice. Gah, uh. The girl draws back promptly after each strike, but the woman isn't letting her escape so easily. Ben low, she pursues her retreating opponent. She's poised for Tsuki, a trust to the truth. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what, what are you doing, Arisaka? This, they, they, are, they are in a match. I accidentally yell out to my immediate regret. Interrupted Mitra's, the woman stumbles, as though suddenly thrown off rhythm, and she points her sword at me. Um. <laughs> oh. Wait. Ho ho ho. You mean the one with the blue hair is the girl? Uh. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's the. That's the okay. I so that one is the girl, and I think that one is actually not a girl but a boy, but a boy dressed like a girl. Yeah, I think that one is the MC from White Red. I just ruined a serious match. She's mad at me. Okorariru, uh, nige dashite shimau ka? Should I run away? But then I will blow my chances of a job for sure. Oh, and someone... Uh, what's going on? As she's about to approach me, an ominous aura radiates out from behind her. Um, a skin prickling shout of SAW! Or rather SORE! Uh, disperses throughout the room like poisonous gas creeping across the floorboards and soaring up into the rafters. Everything freezes. <laughs> What's going on? Abunai! It's what I tried to say but the words lodged in my throat. A moment later, I stand there mute, paralyzed by the terrible blood loss I felt in that cry. I can only watch as the sword lands with a crushing blow to the back of the woman's head. Oh! Ouch! Oh my god, you girl, you took advantage you know, of her, of the woman. With a near hysteric scream, the woman throws down her sword and falls to the floor, clutching her masked head in pain. Seeing <laughs> stars. I did it. I finally managed to land a hit, right? Okay, I think I know why this girl doesn't have a voice. Probably because this is the MC. Yep, the main character, the yes, the actual main character of this vision novel, which is the one in the blue hair. Oi! <laughs> hey, what? I can't hear you! <laughs> Setting aside her anger, the woman taps her younger opponent on the shoulder, sword in hand. <laughs> I take a look at the girl who's untied the cord on her arm guards and removed her helmet. She's blindfolded herself using a hand towel, and she's wearing noise cancelling earphones. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we have the MC right here. It's been exactly an hour, so let's wrap things up. I'll go crazy you have to keep listening to that off racket. A thoroughly unpleasant noise spills up from the earphones when the girl takes them off. 
doing? Candle with your eyes covered and white noise blasting in your ears? <laughs> this, yeah, this, this guy right here. Seems like you lost concentration near the end. Did something happen? The woman turns around to look at me as she speaks. Um, I thought you already knew. <laughs> はい。ああ、やはりそうか。有沙香と言います。はい。うん。申し遅れたね。私がこの三浜学園の学園長、戦国一流だ。ああ、そういやだ、ニューピンサップ。オールライト。はい、学園長。はい、すみません。なぜを読むあの、剣道の試合の邪魔をしてしまいました。試合というほどのものじゃないさ。気にすることはない。I think this this MC is still a student, right? From the looks of it. Yeah, because um the game addressed this person as a girl, so well, it's always good to be early, you know. あの、遅刻しないようにと早めに家を出たのですが、予想よりも早く着いてしまって。Yeah, no problem. No worries. それで学園内をふらふらと歩いていて、ここに行き着いたと。すみません。よく謝る女だな。who is she? Ah, yeah, you didn't mention that. The he or is it she <laughs> doesn't have a voice, so yeah. Oh, no. No, it's not that I didn't have a voice. I not have a voice. I not I not I それまでの時間はそうだな。青い、君が彼女に学園を案内してあげるといい。青い、青いし、ハネ。オッケー、ウェジャスティキアイスイスシー、ビカス、アイディリードダットダムシーイスアイスアクチュアボーイ、ノア
kind of rare. Yeah, Aoi is kind of rare for a male. But yeah, this guy's a dude. <laughs> my name can be pretty misleading too. Yeah, Aoi is actually my family name, you know. Myoji. Myoji, hi. Yep, the name's Aoi Haruto. Nice to meet you, Arisaka Shiori-san. <laughs> yeah, the beautiful young lady is actually a beautiful young man. Oh, yeah. 